The steel we're using in the Speed Goat knife and also in the Blackfoot blades is 52100 steel, uh, which is commonly known as ball bearing steel. That's the steel that uh, industry makes ball bearings out of. It's, it's a highly wear resistant steel, which a ball bearing obviously needs to be. And that's what you want a knife to be. You want it to be resistant, resistant to wear on the edge. Uh, the other really nice thing about that steel is it gets really hard, but it also has still a level of toughness. A lot of people talk about how hard their blade is, but then you start to get that blade in a bit of a, of a bind and it'll snap or it'll break, or, or if it gets really thin, the edge will chip. Um, this steel is a really nice combination of, of being hard enough to resist wear, but being soft or, or tough enough to put up to some, some side pressure and some side load on it. It's not a stainless steel, it's a carbon steel. Um, and I feel like this steel does really well and, and better than most uh, stainless steels, especially at performing well while thin. And the Blackfoot and the Speed Goat are both very thin knives. A lot of times people have a tough time sharpening a blade and they tell me that they don't know how to sharpen, but really, quite frankly, they're trying to sharpen a really thick, heavy piece of steel where these, uh, these blades are thin. And so you're, you're just removing a small amount of steel and they're back sharpened. And that's also a really nice thing is that steel resharpens quickly. A couple passes on a stone and you're back to work.